Let's do one more run. Let's do another um, no split run. It changes everything. I'm wondering, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something a little wacky wacky at the attic boss. Oh come on, do a run. Come on, Pepper Chow. Here's my thought. Are you ready? So I think that it's faster. I think it's faster to attack the boss when he's on the ground. So I'm wondering, if I have that extra health, I bet I could just stand basically stand in the corner and let him blow through to the floor as quickly as possible. Because I have the extra health, I can take the extra hit, basically. I can take I can take a hit for free. And so then he'll land he'll end up in the floor a little bit faster, I think. Yeah, I don't know exactly how the top part works. I know that you cannot kill him at the top part. But, like, the thing is, I've, I've also... Oh, wow, do you see that? So if you hit up right as you land, then you don't have to watch the falling animation. So we got that. That's, like, frame perfect, and I'm not really that good. I just got lucky. But, yeah, I'm sure that's true. That, like, at a certain point on the top, he stops taking damage, or... I don't even know if it's health fully carries over. I... At one point, I did like some testing, and it seemed like it kind of did, but I just don't know the answer to that, you know. So I'm wondering, like, even if that wasn't true, though, I think it's fast, like, getting the double hits with throwing the head on him, I think that's faster than attacking him when he's jumping around on top to begin with. Like, even if even if he was taking damage on the top and the bottom, I think getting him to the bottom as fast as possible is ideal. I remember when I was a kid and I played Clockwork Night 2, there's a boss rush mode, and I remember I used to play that as Ginger because that was, in the base game, that's the only thing you can do as Ginger. And I would always get stuck on the attic boss because the concept of throwing something at the boss was so difficult for me. Oof, this is rough. This is rough. We're not really in any danger in this level, but still. You know, still, I, oh my gosh, what? Just perfectly fell in that little space there, what? All right, we have to be a little bit careful now. Yeah, I did. I did the slow route. It's slow, but I didn't take a death. Sometimes it feels like if you're at the very last moment, you can jump there and you jump. It feels almost like Pepper Chow waits an extra, like, tiny bit of his animation before he does the jump, but you're safe anyway. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Like, the jump, if, you're, if you're jumping at the last possible moment, it's almost like the jump gets delayed a tiny bit further. It's a weird feeling. 
maybe the game just has floaty controls and delayed animations in general, and I only notice it there because it's only critical there. Also, I figured something out here. To get the infinite footballer glitch, if you hit him with the footballer while you're picking it up, like here, let me see if I can show it off here. I might be able to. Like there, because I was still in the I was still in the act of picking up uh, picking up the footballer. I hit him with it, the footballer, without it blowing up. I learned that relatively recently. I, I, I mean, I'm sure that now that I'm saying it, everyone's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, we knew that. That's of course that's how it works. How did you think it worked? Oh wow, what rip rip me? If he jumps, it seems like. Pretty sure that it's gonna get. Oof, that was pretty rough. So that's that's way so that's so much easier. That's so much easier. You just make you just like push the guy on the left a little bit farther before you go grab the guy on the right, and then you can just be sure that you 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 keep moving while you pick up the footballer, and then as long as you're in the action of picking him up you get the glitch. Now, I know that there's another glitch where if you jump at the exact same frame that you hit him with the footballer, the footballer doesn't die then either. So there's like multiple ways to make that happen. The easier way is just while you're picking him up. I think what it really is, is that during certain animations, the footballer can't be destroyed. And one of them is picking him up. And I think another one is like when you first start jumping. Oh, that was not good. I'm gonna grab this. Um, actually, you know, I'm not. I'm gonna YOLO it. Yeah, the footballer glitch is like frame perfect. I know there's people who can do that sort of stuff, but like, not me. It ain't me. I ain't no fortunate one. There might be something I can do there where I can just fall off the soap and like I just barely miss everything. That might be kind of fun to do just because it's like, just because it looks scary. Oh, that's rough. Actually, it's not that bad. That's, I mean, it's its not as fast as possible, but that's okay. Clock quirk. You could just think about a clock quirk. That's why I'm an inventor. That's my new invention. It's like, it's like, you know, you want a bottle of wine, but like, what time is it? Just get attacked through, just get attacked through, just get attacked through. I mean, in a great, in a, in a great world, I don't know why I said that. No one ever says in a great world. In a great world, we would just like, get the glitch on this boss every single time, easy. Yeah, see that's, it's, it's more consistent to get him over here on the far left. Just, far left extremists. The radical, like, you get the kitchen boss in on the radical left, and then before you know it, like, before you know it, you're getting him in one fewer cycle. Like, I don't know what to tell you about that. Oh, <laughs> my gosh, do you see that? What the heck? I don't know why it's so much easier. Also, weird Z fighting issues. I don't know why it's so much easier to get that glitch on the far left right there rather than anywhere else. But there you go. 
it's it's not even easier though because it's it all that matters is the frame that you hit him i guess i'm just more consistent at doing it there You know, keeping the same cycle here, I just want to point this out. It would not be impossible to get the gold gear, uh, the gold key. That's like over here in the middle. Oof, this is pretty rough. And end up with like the max health. Oh, that was like the earliest I could have possibly did it, but I did it. I think I think we're actually on. We are actually on PB pace right now, I think. You know, not having not having individual splits. It just works. I don't know what to tell you. It just works. I love the jazz and in both the games, in both the Clockwork Knight games. There's just such excellent jazz. Like in the study in the second game, I actually unironically like that song. Oh man, too early. Ooh, nice, nice. Ooh, quick open too. Nice! Oh my gosh, that's, I mean, oof, that, that part's not great, but you know. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do the weird, like, test of the, how the boss here works. I'm just going to do the normal strat because we're on, like, super PV pace right now. I mean, I guess I did. I guess I... Oh, this is actually awful. Oh, I've ruined everything here. This is not a good place to be. Not what... Not what I wanted, my dude. Not bad, but also not great. I mean, well, let's be honest, that's fine. It's like, that's like an 8 out of 10, I would say. I 
hate I hate the blender. Sometimes I want to stick my tender part in a blender, watch it spin round to a beautiful oblivion. That was clean. We are on like super PB pace now. That was super clean too. I need to get I need to get one of those clean hits during the blender. I've only done that like two or three times ever though. Mostly because of nerves, not because it's more difficult during the blender. Bam. Yeah, that was incredible. Like, I, I split that kind of late. That was... Oh my gosh. So I would say that that implies to me that you save about 10 seconds from, from that alternative addict strategy. 